In this video, we determine the cube root of an algebraic expression consisting of two like terms. We add the like terms together before we find the cube root of the expression. Sometimes the instruction given for an example like this is simplify. Simplify is actually a fairly vague instruction, but it generally means that we do things such as adding together like terms. We work towards an expression that looks as compact as possible, with no brackets. In this case, it will be a single term consisting of factors. As always, remember to pause the video when you need more time to read the screen. Our example is the cube root of an algebraic expression consisting of 9n to the power of 27 minus n to the power of 27. It is vital that you recall the meaning of exponents and cube roots. Note that we cannot apply the cube root operation individually to separate terms under the root sign. The first step involves adding together like terms. We have a pair of like terms under the root sign. 9 times n to the power of 27 and negative n to the power of 27. 9 times n to the power of 27 minus 1 n to the power of 27 equals 8 times n to the power of 27. The sum of negative 1 and 9 is 8. Now we have a single term under the root sign. Recall that the cube root of an expression, when multiplied by itself once and then again a second time, gives the original expression. In order to determine the cube root, it can be useful to apply the principle, when in doubt, write it out. As an optional step, we may then rearrange the factors, which are multiplied together to form the expression. Our expression consists of the coefficient 8 multiplied by the variable n, with 27 the exponent. This means that the expression can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 multiplied by n to the power of 27. n to the power of 27 means that n appears as a factor 27 times. Importantly, we can group the 27 factors into three identical groups and write n to the power of 27 as n to the power of 9 times n to the power of 9 times n to the power of 9. After rearranging the factors on paper or in our heads, we can identify the cube root. It consists of the cube root of the numerical coefficient multiplied by the variable raised to the power of the original exponent divided by 3. Let's try to make sense of that mouthful. In this example, we find the cube root of 8, which is 2. This will be multiplied by n. To find the exponent of n, we divide 27 by 3 to get 9. Note that we simplify the expression as far as possible using appropriate algebraic notation. Our calculation is now complete. We don't need to write any multiplication signs in our final answer, but note that our answer does represent 2 times n times n times n, with n appearing as a factor 9 times. If we have to highlight the most important step in finding a cube root, we might say it is when in doubt, write it out. Most of our mistakes in this type of work arise from misinterpreting exponents and trying to do too much in our heads. It is worth noting that we can actually present our answer fully in only three lines, provided we don't make any silly mistakes. Here we are not really taking shortcuts, we are simply not showing how we rearrange the factors before determining the cube root.